Hey guys, I'm Amy, and you've landed on Bella's Bargains. That's my cow, Effingham, and sometimes he co-hosts with me. He's got a lot to say. This channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar and a quarter, people. So stick around, consider subscribing, and don't forget to give me that big thumbs up. And if you want to know more about the four uploads I do every week, just check out the description box for more information. Enjoy! A song for Effingham. You've been on my mind. You're welcome. I grow fonder every day. Lose myself in time. Just a thinking of your face. God only knows why it's taken me so long to let my doubts go. You're the only one I want. I don't know why I'm scared. I've been here before. Every feeling, every word. I've imagined it all. But you'll never know if you never try. To forgive your past and simply be mine. I dare you to let me be your one and only. I promise I'm worthy to hold in your. I I can't say to hold in your arms. Oh, well. All right, guys. Welcome to Bell's Bargains. My name is Amy. That was a little Adele. Who doesn't love Adele? I dare you to let me be. Okay, Effingham, that was for you. Yes, because I just want you to know how much I love you. I know. Uh, I know. I know. He loves it when I do hauls because then he gets to be on the video. Well, sort of. Behind the scenes. All right, guys. Today you have landed on Holla for your dollar haul. Holla for your dollar haul. It's a Dollar Tree shopping haul. Hey, if you're new to my channel, you should know this is a Dollar Tree channel. Like, when I say Dollar Tree, it's literally only Dollar Tree. I mean, I only shop the Dollar Tree. Sometimes I go to the grocery store. And I only buy my craft supplies from the Dollar Tree. And I only use 100% Dollar Tree supplies for all of my craft DIY videos. Dollar Tree hauls, Dollar Tree food testings, and Dollar Tree crafts. So it used to be because everything at the Dollar Tree was a... A dollar and a, and a quarter, but that's not so much anymore. All right, but it doesn't matter. Let's get into this. Before I do, I will be giving this away at the end of this video. If you don't know what it is, then you don't watch my videos. Those who know, know. Okay, so stay till the end. I will give that away. Let's dive in. I went to two Dollar Trees. There it is, one receipt, two receipt. One receipt was 23, basically the other one was 51. So we're talking about $75 approximately. So... Let's dive in and see what I got. Did I get multiples of some things? Of course, because I do. Because if you see it and it's there and it's a deal, bye. It's like a whoop I am. Yes, of course you do. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to show you is food because that's normally what I do. Rebuy. Rebuy. Good rebuy. So it sounds like I'm saying ribeye or rebuy. I mean, it's rebuy, re a repurchase. I, I, I purchased it again and again. All right, so this is out there right now, Cory Fruits. There's a four pack of these little apple sauce. They're basically apple sauce. They had them in the baby section at the one that I found it at this time. They must have had four dozen of them. I bought six. So there you go. There's one of my multiples. Because I take it and I make for Marx's lunch, I put blueberries because it was a super good heart food. And this little apple sauce, I put it into a little container. It's super good, by the way, like super good little vegan, vegan dessert or snack or something. So I throw blueberries in there. I should throw walnuts in there too, but that'd be good. Anyway, for a buck 25 for four of these, but also if you throw them in the freezer, super good little popsicle trick. Anyway, so they won't be out there forever. This is not gonna stay at the Dollar Tree. Like I can guarantee it. By the way, they're good until May of 24. So not a huge shelf life, but that's okay. It's only 50 calories in a pouch and they're manufactured by Selva USA. It's a product of Chile. Chile, chill people, chill. Okay, Chile. So I got some more of those. They're really great. If you have kids, grandkids, absolutely perfect for that. We're grown ups using them. Well, why, why not? Okay, and then um, McTrader Pitted Ripe Olives. Have not seen theirs be these there before. So it's about 25. That's not like a fabulous buy, but it's an okay buy. And a lot of times, if I see it there, I'm like, I'm here. And because we're vegan now, 95%, <laughs> we, 
I'm trying to buy like more stuff like this that I can, you know, put these into salads or this is a really good snack. This is a great thing to throw into his lunch. You know, here's like half a dozen or so olives as a little afternoon snack. So I had not seen, the, by the way, they were hand picked. Mm -hmm, good to know. Did they hand fit them too? I mean, I don't know. I think there's a machine that does that. Okay, so McTrader is a brand that they have been getting in there lately. It so reminds me of um, Mc, Mc, Trader Joe's. Sorry, I was trying. McDonald's and then there's Trader Joe's. It's McTrader's. What happens when McDonald's marries a Trader Joe's? You get McTrader's. Okay, so anyway, this is a product of Egypt. Well, so they got to be really good olives. I mean, olives from Egypt sounds like a no-brainer. All right. And I believe I bought three of those. Then I found a new um, hydrate drink. So I was like, all right, let's try it. Let's try it. I'm going to get Marcus, hopefully, a stick around at the end of this video. I'm hoping we'll have a little taste testing. Oh, I should never promise that because I need to upload. And it's Friday. Probably not. But I'm going to get him to throw in a taste. I'm just going to film it this weekend and I'll add it to some video at this at some time this week. So these are just little new hydrate ones. They're called Zyco, I think. Hydrate. Beverage. Do you hear the cat meowing? Like, Jax, baby, can we leave Friday alone, please? Jax, come here. Just say Jax, come here. You want to say hi? Come here. Come here. Come here. You want to say hi? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. He thinks he's in trouble because I told him to leave the cat alone. So never mind. All right. So um, these have like 60 calories in them. I mean, I mean, that's not too bad, but we'll try them. Anyway, I, I like to send hydration drinks with Marks, especially in the summertime. I know it's not summer, but we live in Arizona, let's be honest. Okay, wasabi peas. I haven't seen these in a while, and I love them. Okay, so these are lightly dusted with sea salt. These are wasabi peas. So fabulous snack. Um, they're not like super low caloric. They're a product of China, distributed by Golden Beach. Um, I don't even know what else you need to know about them. So there's... Green pea, cornstarch, sugar, palm oil, sea salt, soybean oil. I mean, these, throwing them at myself. Yeah, I don't even know. No, I'm not throwing them at you. I like, oh, Effingham, stop. Okay, so anyway, wasabi peas are super good. And then this is a newbie. This is a newbie. Ah, oh, I'm sure this is not vegan because it has ranch in it. But it's going to be so minimal in it, what's in it that's not vegan that I'm like, it's fine, we'll try it. So these are Hidden Valley Toasted Corn. Ranch, Hidden Valley Ranch, but uh, uh, brand name on the toasted corn. Okay, so again, buck twenty-five. I don't think that's a fabulous buy. It isn't, but I, you know I gotta try it for you guys. You know I have to. So this goes in the try stuff, and then this was a. I think I've gotten these before, but every once in a while, now I just pick up little things like this to throw on Marcus's lunch, just because their nuts are so good when you're a vegan because you need the protein, and these are chili roasted. Again, buck twenty-five. Uh uh, but. I was like, oh, if it's something that's out of the norm and a little bit different, then I'll grab it, throw it into his lunch to keep things, you know, spicy. I'll keep his lunchtime spicy. Mm, okay, anyway, so I got those to throw in there. All right, and then the last food item, which is a seasonal food item, because I am doing peeps for the kids for Easter, I grabbed these. So anything that was peeps, peeps. I have to check if I had the peeps gummies because I saw them and I'm like, did I already buy those? Did I already buy those? You guys would know better than I would. Anyway, so, but I knew I hadn't bought these, so I grabbed those. All right, that's in and food. So nothing too extraordinary, but the one thing I would say to keep an eye out for is these, especially for grandchildren and kids. So it's such a good buy. Okay, moving right along. In the toy aisle, I picked up one thing. No cow oil. I tell you this all the time. There is no cow or aisle. Oil aisle. There's no cow aisle. There's an animal aisle, but there's no cow stuff on there. Like, never. I, no, I'm not buying you a toy. Okay, so this is like a poodoo. It's a splat ball. So I grabbed this to throw into, I think, Moses' stocking. I just thought it was hysterical. And it just looked like an 11-year-old boy kind of thing. Like, blah, throwing poop across the room. Mm, maybe it's a toddler thing. Okay, then down. Let's go down at the medicine aisle just a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down movie all right so these i've purchased these before and i grabbed them again um marcus uses these on he's got a bad hip injury thing fell down a flight of stairs a long time not that long ago four or five years ago anyway and he injured himself and it's just always a sore area so he uses these when he gets really sore from work or whatever and they work really well so this is the extra large one and this is the core light lidocaine. Anyway, I get both. If I see them, they're not there all the time. So this is just going to go in the medicine cabinet and he'll grab them when he needs them. 
So some of the items at Dollar Tree, you know, when you see it, grab them because it's not always stocked. It's just the way it goes, people. It's just the way it goes. So anyway, I grabbed some of those. And another thing that I haven't seen in a little while, and we have traveling medicine, which means our travel bag has little mini medicine things in it. And um, I went through it and knew I needed to restock. So I grabbed some emergency two packs. And the reason I do that is it's just so convenient, right? It's just a little two pack. I throw it into our travel little medicine bag. And um, a couple other things for that would be like Tylenol PM, super convenient little thing. And then a little thing of ibuprofen to take with us. So these are all travel medicines. If it's not something you do, this won't matter to you, but we always have in our overnight bag a little medicine cabinet. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know, we do, that's us. Okay, and then um, because if you don't know, I fell down hiking last week, my knee is a lot better, I'm walking a lot better, I can walk on it, I can put weight on it, it's just still a little sore. And so I grabbed this to put on it just to give it a little support for the next couple of weeks because it is, it, I did injure it. So I was like, all right, for a buck 25, I can, I can give my niece some support. Alrighty. So that was it. That was a lot on the medicine aisle. I don't normally don't get that much stuff on the medicine aisle, but we did this time. Okay, let's go down the baby aisle. And if you don't know, I'll tell you, I'm making a, just in case, I mean, some of you are going to hear this again. You've heard it before, but if you're new to my channel, you haven't heard this. So a couple years ago, I made a really cool blanket out of the baby blankets from the Dollar Tree. And I made like a quilt, like it's a quilt that you tie all the seams instead of sewing it on a sewing machine. It was a no sew patch or no sew quilt. And so I took all these different baby blankets and I cut squares and I made like a big adult size blanket out of the baby blankets for the mom. I'm doing it again. Somebody I know is having a baby and it was such a cool gift and it was loved so much and it was so cheap and it was so easy. I was like, yeah, I'm doing that again. But it's so funny because I'm looking at their patterns and like, I've never seen this pattern before. Have you guys seen this before? Because I haven't. Now I'm trying to make a blanket that's good for a boy or a girl. And I'm like, dinosaurs, they can't, who cares? And yeah, anyway, so I really like this one. So I grabbed that. And then I know hearts, but I'm like, that's good for a boy or a girl. And, and anyway, nowadays, does it really matter? No. And then I've never seen the unicorn one before. Am I insane? The hearts one I've seen, but these two were new to me. So I've got that. I think I have enough blankets now. I will do a craft video when I do it to show everybody again. I've done one before, but it's been a few years, so I'll do it again because it is really, honestly, it's a super cool gift. So you know when you have a newborn baby and you sit on the couch and you cuddle up and blah, 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 and how fun to have like a blanket like, you know what I should do? I just thought of it and I'm gonna do, oh my gosh. I'm gonna make a matching one for the baby. So I'm gonna do a, a mommy baby. I'll have enough. Like I definitely will have enough with all the blankets I have. So I'll go over that when I do the, that's why did I just think of that? But I did, yeah. So you know, wrap your baby in one and then you can have one for you too. But more initially I made it thinking like, so you can, you can sit down and wrap your baby in the baby blanket that's actually a blanket for you as well. Mm, I ramble on too much, don't I? All right, put your thinking caps on. Nope, it's not. A colander, we needed one. Um, so that's it. There is nothing, spe I'm peeling the tag off. There's nothing spectacular about this. Needed a colander. Mm -hmm. And they had it at the Dollar Tree. Also an item that I don't see there all the time, but I did. Okay. I have some really cool, 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 amazing brand item finds at the very end of this. Um, I grabbed this, which I don't think I've purchased it before, but if you watched my haul last week, I purchased the cutest little boys, green, I suppose it could be little girls, green, and it had like orange, um, uh, the, the stitching was orange, it's so cute, and this would look so cute on it. So I bought this thinking I'm gonna use it on that. I'm gonna do a DT Threads very, very soon, which is Dollar Tree Threads, which is Dollar Tree clothing. It's all Dollar Tree clothing stuff where I make cute clothes out of Dollar Tree stuff or t-shirts or whatever I buy there, okay? Now, I bought one seasonal item and it's this. Mm -hmm. So I'm sending this off to the kids so it's because uh, St. Patrick's Day stuff, and I just thought this would be fun to send in their St. Patrick's Day stuff. So th that's it. There's no big deal. They had like three other or two other um, patterns or, or um, packages. 
I just like this one. I really like the, the green in this one. So I grabbed it and there's 30. Oh, and they're glow in the dark. That's right. There's 35 glow in the dark. I thought that was cool. So I'm sending that off to the kids. And then I found a new craft item. What, 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 what? Who, who messaged me and said that they found me? And I was, I saw them and I was like, that's what they were talking about. Effingham. Wake up. You are going to be so excited about this. Yes. It's like so for you. All right. I've saved that one for last. No, maybe this one for last. Let's go for this one. All right. So I have four new things here. I don't even know what I'm going to do with them. I don't know. Okay. But this one, they're so farmhouse. I'll figure it out. So this one says, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Bah. Okay. I might get rid of this one and give it away or something because we don't eat bacon and I don't know. I don't know. We'll see because I'm getting ready to do all the farmhouse stuff. So there's that. I love this one. Farm life. What? Yes, but Effingham, are you ready? Let's do them simultaneously. All right, here we go. Oh, oh what? I know, aren't they great? Oh, heifer, please. That's my favorite. And then home is where the herd is. Home is where the herd is. Which is what your bell says, Effingham. I know, that's your bell. So who sent us that? Somebody, one of my besties did. Anyway, um, my absolute favor though is heifer please, which I will be, I'm absolutely gonna do this sign. I'm absolutely gonna, I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do it yet, but I am. So I'm excited to do this one, but I had to get them all. Like they're just so cool. Maybe you can make a box out of them, like a great big box. Maybe I could do like a whole long, um, put them all together. No, nah, that'd be too much. Anyway, I don't know, but I'm absolutely gonna do heifer please. And the other ones we'll see. But I had to get them. I had to show them to you. So they're going. They're going in. They're going in the farmhouse stash. So farm life. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. That's my least favorite one. And then home is where the herd is. And this would be so cute on a black and white wreath, wouldn't it? So do a wreath that's all black and white and make it all cow looking with the black and white ribbons, and then stick this in the middle of it. It'd be super cute. That's actually a really good idea. This one, though, heifer, please, I'm absolutely making to put right next to you, Effingham. Yep, I'm going to hang it right next to you. Heifer, please. Uh-huh. All right, so that brings us to the final item that I have in today's haul. And oh, my goodness. It's socks galore. Like, socks galore. But listen, I tell you guys this all the time. When you're hunting at the Dollar Tree and you find it, buy it, put it away. I do my Christmas shopping all year long through in the Dollar Tree, like all year long. Like I have already so much stuff for Christmas and it's only March. How does that happen? Because I shop, I hunt for it. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna show you is these two adorable socks, which are more of the brand name socks that I've been collecting the whole set of them because I'm gonna give them away and like, I'm gonna do a cute little package with a box of macaroni and cheese. This one will go with the Heinz bottle of ketchup. And I'm gonna do a cute little packaging to give these away like at Christmas time. So um, I've been collecting all of them. Every time I get new ones, I have to take a picture. So when I go to the DT, I know which ones I have and which ones I don't have. So there's that. Anyway, I did not have these two. I might have the whole set now. This might've been the last ones. So those are super cute. I just think they're absolutely adorable. And they're just, they're just really, really a good, fun, um, just a fun gift idea. So, you know, they're distributed by the craft trademarks. Um, but, um, but it doesn't say who they're distributed by. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter because it does not say that they're like a Dollar Tree item. So I don't know. I don't think they're going to be there. I don't think they're going to stay there. And, they, and I don't see them. Like I just see randomly, like they've come out in when they're stocking or something and then they're gone. Okay. So let's move along. Found name brand, Gildan. Gildan socks. Gildan. So these are size six um, to nine and a half. There's three pairs in here. And one's all white. One has a red toe. One has a black toe. So basically, they're little white crew. I guess you would call these crew socks. They're boys' ankle socks is what they're calling them. Boys' ankle socks. I'm like, are you kidding me? Seriously? Anyway, I have a couple, a little boy and a couple little girls that I buy stuff for. So yeah, here we go. Is there a national sock day? Oh my goodness. Somebody look it up and tell me. Because if there is, that's when I'm giving all of these away. I'm going to give like everybody I know for national sock day. There's got to be. Hold on. Hey, Google. When is national sock day? 
I don't know, but I found these results on search. National Sock Day is December 24th. I mean, December 4th. December 4th. <laughs> well, whatever. Everybody's getting them. I'm holding on to them. National Sock Day. Everybody's getting socks from me. I'll be like, hey, happy Sock Day. <laughs> Come on, that's good. So, Gildan, three pack, little boys, little ankle socks. What? Yeah, then, then I found these. So better than, what's better than a three pack? A six pack of girls Gildan socks. I was like, are you kidding me? Same, six to ten and a half, so basically the same size. And I was like, what? What? Huh? How? Look at that. We've got three whites, a pink, a turk, or like a blue, and a black pair. Six pairs of socks. This is cheaper than thrift store prices, you guys. Seriously. I bought two because they have two little girls that I'm going to give these to. I was just shocked on National Sock Day they're getting these. Is that not hysterical? Oh, my God. I have so much fun with that. That's right. Is that not the best idea? Tell me, you guys. Tell me in the comments down below if you think giving, like, socks away for National Sock Day is not hysterical. Okay. So then I found more Gold Toe socks. I was like, what? So these are power socks by Gold Toe. These are baseball socks. Baseball socks, but did I, I didn't even look. Was there prices on the back of these? You know, some of them will have the pricing. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We have to look, we have to look, we have to look. Um, so for the girls, I do not see a price. No, okay, so no. And for the little boys, probably not, because it looks like it was the same, same stick of dumb, stick dumb on the back. Um, but on the gold toe, I'll bet there is, yeah. I don't see a price on the boys either. Okay, so no price on the boys. Gildan, um, let's see, on the, yep, on the, ooh, on the baseball socks, there are four nine nine. And what did Amy get it for? A buck 25. Also have a young man, a friend of mine's son, who plays baseball. He'll be getting these on National Sock Day. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. Then, then I found, and I think these are for ladies, which I was trying to figure out how you tell on gold toe if they're for a guy or a girl, because it doesn't really say, but these are good for size nine, sock size nine to 11, shoes size six to nine. That makes no sense, does it? does it? Not in my world. Does it make sense in anybody else's world? Okay, and there is no price on this one, it looks like. It, doesn't, it looks like no price. Sorry, I should have done this before I got on camera. Um, but you know how that goes, right? I know you guys understand. You know, there was a price, but I just worked it. Let's see if I can see it this way. Okay, you guys aren't going to be able to see it, but you're going to have to trust me. These were, it looks like $8. Is that right? I think it was $8. Anyway, this is a three-pack of the super, and it says, Soft wear shorty. These are the softest. These are for Amy. These are the softest anklet. Oh my gosh, they're so soft. So, and I think these are for girls. So this is the gold, this is gold toe. And I feel like this coloring is the women's one. I could Google it and find out. But anyway, so there's that three pack for a buck 25. I only got one. Then, then there was this one. So this is called silver toe. Anyway, silver toe is just another, um, like, gold toe. These were $11, people, 11 And there are one, two, three pairs of, um, these are, like, crew socks. I think they're calling them gold toe. This is, um, anyway, whatever. They're little, they're, they're, like, little crew socks, right? You know, the fold over at your ankle kind. And there was, there's three in here. For silver toe, which is basically gold toe. It's gold toe, by the way. It's just a different thing. Is silver toe for the girls? I don't know. I have to look it up. Okay, but it, well, let's keep going. Because then I found this silver toe. What? And this says extended size, fit shoe size 8 to 13. So I know exactly who I'm giving these to. And these are, they, they're brown. They're, I don't know, how much were these? These were $12. The price is under there. You can't see it. So these are $12. And, and I got them for a buck 25 for three pairs. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And they're brown. These are brown. So there's like this brown pair with sort of this pattern, and then the other two are just plain brown, okay? See that? Seriously, I can't even. I just can't. Then there's the 
this one gold toe so this one was how much was it let's see this one i love this pair of socks i think it's super cute probably should have got more of these for national sock day i did not there's no price on this one but it doesn't matter it is we know it wasn't a buck 25 so these are gold toe these are um, these are for a man and gold toe and check out that super cool pattern isn't that really cool so this is fashion crew sock and anyway it doesn't matter the size okay i'm just telling you like this is so cool but the creme de la creme and i think i bought three of these for three different um christmas gifts because these are phenomenal and they're super thick so they're super good to give out in the winter time and this is the gold toe heritage collection what tell me you are seeing what i'm showing you this is three pairs of incredibly expensive these were eighteen dollars i'm not going to be able to get this sticker off so you can see but i can see through it does that make sense nope maybe no nope, uh-uh anyway it's eighteen dollars underneath that it says eighteen dollars eighteen for a buck twenty five three super thick beautiful pairs of men's socks i'm like you guys these are incredible an incredible buy for a buck twenty five there you go. Mm -hmm. Can you believe it? No, I can't either. All right. That's my haul. So what'd you guys think? It was a pretty good haul, actually. The socks. I could have just done a haul on socks. I mean, if you added up how much I saved on socks, it's incredible. So listen, just like, and like I said, I'm saving them for Christmas. I pile this stuff up. I have a closet where I put all the Christmas gifts because why not? At a buck 25, I'll buy it when I see it, store it away and give it to him at Christmas time. All right. Effingham. <laughs> No, there's no socks for you. I mean, where are your hoofs? I don't even see them. They're not there. Okay, everybody, have a great day, a great week, a great life. And I dare you to let me be your YouTube channel of choice. All right, everybody, from your singing crafty crafter, happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree. But if you're in the drawing for the garland, stay tuned. I'll be right back to give that away. Okay, let's see. So I'm gonna start my random generator right here. I've already put the, the, um, start. Hello? Oh no, I have to answer the question. It's to show that I'm not a robot. Okay, so ready, start. And it's going through, generating through. And, um, <laughs> My winner is Tammy Whatever. Actually, Tammy, I think you live here in Arizona, don't you? All right, Tammy Whatever, you've got to message me and I will send you the garland. And if you just DM me your um, full name and address and I'll send it off to you. Okay, so that's it for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, besties. I'll see you next time.